Hey everybody, this is Devin with HDPiano.com, and today we're going to take a look at Redbone by Childish Gambino. Very cool song, and there's not a whole lot of piano going on in it, a lot of synth type stuff, but I've come up with a little uh, piano adaptation to hopefully satisfy your desires, so let's check it out. We're going to work on the main riff in this video, which is the intro, but it's also played over the chorus as well, and it's got that, it features that synth line. And the rest of the videos with the rest of the song can be found over at hdpiano.com. Here's what we're working with. And then it's into the verse. All right, so it's pretty groovy, and it's tough because you want to sustain some chords in the left hand while also playing this kind of staccato, bouncy melody in the right hand, which means we have to use our fingers very wisely. All right, so we're starting off. We're in the key of E flat minor. And I do actually have a question. I'm curious if you guys know what Childish Gambino means. I know this guy's an actor and he's got a, an interesting career, but I'm curious, uh, anybody have any ideas or, or any insights into where his name comes from? Let me know in the comments. All right, so we are in the key of E flat minor. We're starting off with B major seven, up to D flat, up to E flat minor. These are the chords for both the chorus and also the verse. But in the chorus, we've got that line to play. So we're starting off with octave Bs in the left, nice low Bs. And with our thumb and pointer, we're going to play B flat and E flat. Or we could call it, well, let's call this a C flat major chord. And then we can call everything flats. We have got two C flats in the left hand and B flat and E flat in the right hand. Now with our remaining three fingers, we've got to hold this note while simultaneously gracing up to a B flat in our pinky, and then walking down to a G flat on the black notes. All right, so take some independence. So try it nice and slow. All right, and you want to stay relaxed. It's it's tough. One more time. When you feel like you've got that, let's move on. All right, so here we are on D flat. So we've got octave D flats in the left. And we're going to hit A flat and F in the right. And we're going to let that F and A flat kind of ring, but we're going to hit that D flat nice and staccato. to kind of continue and, and define that that is the melody. Even though we're holding the F, it kind of gets forgotten once we play the D flat. So it just sounds like we're playing a full chord underneath the melody. And when we get to E flat minor, we play octave E flats in the left, G flat, B flat, and E flat in the right. All right, so I'll play the whole line. This is the first half, there's a second half as well. So here we are, nice and slow. Three, four. Oops. All right, so that's the next bit we've got to learn. But before we get there, let's just make sure that the rhythm is cool. I didn't exactly break it down for you guys. Two, three, and four, and one, two, three, four. All right, so that's the rhythm we're working with. One, two, and three, and four, and one, two, three. In terms of the left hand motion. And it falls nicely with the melody, of course. All right, so while we're holding this E flat minor, we're gonna play some chords and kind of cascade up the piano. The melody being, all right, D flat, E flat, G flat, D flat, B flat. But we're gonna start, we're gonna harmonize that melody, 
which means we've got to move our hand quite a bit. All right, so we start with D flat major, which is F, A flat, and D flat, up to E flat minor, which is G flat, B flat, E flat. So just practice those two. All right, from there we're going to go to G flat major, which is B flat, D flat, and G flat on top. This is they're all first inversion chords. And for this note, we're going to harmonize it below with a D, uh, sorry, E flat and G flat with a D flat on top. That's what we have so far, nice and slow. Okay. We're gonna land on D flat, E flat, G flat, and B flat, and that's like a G flat six chord. Although we're playing that over a B, so technically it's actually a B major seven with a nine, or C flat major seven with a nine. We should, we should call it. Okay, so that's all happening with the while the left hand goes boom, ba, boom, ba, boom. All right, eighth notes, three, E, and a four. So try and get that together, nice and slow. One more time. All right, and then try and add a little spunk for the melody. Just a little more staccato. And at tempo, three, four. And that's our last bit there. So we land here. One, two, three, and four, and one, two, three, four. So left hand usual. Three and uh or three and four and right? So leave the left hand for a bit. So what's going on there? We've got D flat second inversion, A flat, D flat, G flat. On beat three, up to E flat minor second inversion, B flat, E flat, and G flat on beat three on the end of three, three and right? three and so we got so far. Now we're going to kind of grace into this D flat root position triad, D flat, F, A flat, gracing in with an E flat in the pointer finger, and back down to E flat minor. So three and four and. the right hand. Alright, so now when we walk down the second time, we're just holding this chord. Then we can re-articulate these two notes and we loop it one more time. Walk it down. All right, so there you have it. That's the main riff, and that continues, uh, that starts off the tune as the intro, but it's also what is played during the two choruses. We have one chorus where we play it twice, and then the second time the chorus comes around, we play that four times. And at the end, now, now don't you close your eyes. There's a little break right on close your eyes. Um, so I'll be talking about that in the later videos. But you were off to a great start, and in the next video, I'm going to show you guys how to play the verse, followed by a video about the bridge and the pre-chorus, and finally, the outro, you know, the how to get so scandalous bit with a really cool, uh, just looping synth solo that goes on and on and on. So we'll be talking about all those things in future videos over at hdpiano.com. All right, this is Devin. Thanks for checking it out. In the meantime... Give us a like on Facebook, HD Piano. Follow us on Twitter and Instagram, at HD Piano. And if you have any requests, something you'd like to see us teach, use the hashtag HDRequests and send us a tweet, and we will throw it in the line and see if we can get that out for you. And we're also happy to repost your performances on our Instagram. So if you learn anything from our channel, please share it with us, and we will share it with our followers. All right, that'll do it. We'll see you over at part two at hdpiano.com, home of the hybrid piano lesson.